In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Storyblocks. Storyblocks is one of the most widely used stock footage websites, archive, arsenal on the planet. And I absolutely am obsessed with it. So first step number one, we want to go over to Storyblocks.com. And what Storyblocks is, guys, it is a stock footage, stock media website. And you can use it to do so many different things. First of all, it is a paid subscription. And the reason it's paid is because they are actually paying photographers, content creators. They're paying them to go out there and get awesome footage for you to use as a creator slash business owner, whatever. So this is what differentiates Storyblocks from all the other ones. It is hands down the best. And what we want to do here, go over to Storyblocks and... You want to choose a plan because this is a paid plan. They have different plans that you can choose from. I don't even want to talk about the plans though. Honestly, I want to show you what this is capable of because there's different plans and I feel like the pricing doesn't even matter because I don't want you to think I'm making any money on this because that's not the case. All right. So first of all, you could go to Storyblocks when you have signed up and you can start searching for stock footage to use. There's a couple different ways how to use this tool. And I'm going to show you them. So first, what you do, let's just do dancing, for example, because that's a that's kind of a funny example we could use. And what you could do here, this when we search for dancing, this shows us all of the video footage slash media available. And there's 21,000 results found for dancing, which is crazy, right? And what we could do is we could go and download any of these clips. You could download it and then drag it into your editor, whichever editor you choose to use. Um, and then we could also, you can choose, um, depending on your paid plan, you can do 4K footage, which is absolutely crazy. Like I can just use all this 4K footage, which is insane, right? You can choose the frame rates. You can choose images. You can choose videos. Um, this is, um, see if I click right here, video, uh, music, we can do music. We can do photos. As you can see, this arsenal is insane to use stock footage you know maybe you're use maybe you're creating videos for your business on like uh different you know maybe you have an automotive business you're using automotive footage you don't have footage as a content creator youtuber i use this tool all the time and it's the best on the planet i'm gonna be honest with you all right so one last thing i want to show you which is an absolute game changer for me is the storyblocks video editor and please bear with me guys i am just streaming this because this isn't some fancy um yeah, so if you click on Creative Tools and you click on Maker, this is Storyblocks Video Editor. It's an all-in-one video editor, which is crazy. All right, click on New Project. And I want to say this video editor in Storyblocks, it's a little bit more. I think this, this version is like 60 bucks or 30 bucks a month. I can't even remember. I use it so much, I don't care what it costs. It's to that level. All right, so now that we're in the video editor, what's cool is I can comprise an entire video in this video editor without even downloading and all of that stuff from the other section of Storyblocks. All right, so let's go back to the dancing. So we'll go in here and search for dancing. And you can see there's a video tab, an audio tab, and an images tab. I want video because I'm making videos. So then what I can do is I can choose, if I hover over these videos, it shows me which ones, you know, like it shows you what the video is. And if I click on the plus button because I want this one, it looks really cool. I can play it to get like a preview of it. And then what's cool is I can drop and drag this editor on how short or long I want this clip. My advice to you is to have short clips because if you're trying to keep retention on your video, I would add a bunch of clips. See, like if I click play now, I have this in my video editor down here and it's three seconds long. My advice to you is to have short clips. I'm going to add this one as well. I'm going to have this one three seconds as well too. Three, three to four seconds is like a common average. And what you can do here is the top layer of the video editor is the overlay section. I'm just adding it here. And it's so easy because I can literally just drop and drag these. And I'm going to comprise an entire video of stock footage using Storyblocks here. And if, and if I click this button here, this is the aspect ratio. It's on 16 to 9. This is like the YouTube widescreen section or version. This is the sh this is Reels. Like if I did Facebook Reels, Instagram, TikTok, um, I want to do widescreen because I feel like it's I'm I'm a YouTuber. That's what I'm looking at, right? So if I click play, this is my video right here. And if I want to add music, all I got to do is click the audio section and add music. And I can trim the clip. I can add overlays. I can do opacity, opacity. <laughs> 
I can fade in and out. Um, and I can edit or add as many stock footage clips in here as I want. Check this one out. This is a guy dancing on a, in a Panda mask. This is ridiculous, right? Uh, let's add this one. So now I have a, um, I have a, I have a video here on people dancing. Click play. I'm gonna shorten these a little bit, and you can tell how easy they are to drop and drag. Um, and I have just comprised a video of people dancing. Click play. This is crazy, right? I have now made a full video on just people dancing, and this is how to use Storyblocks. Um, the video editor section is a game changer. Like if you're looking to just create videos in itself, because what it does is it cuts out all the downloading, saving the space on your computer, because it just it, it goes directly from the Storyblocks archive into the video editor. And guys, it's a game changer. It's all I'm gonna say. So hopefully this video helps give you an idea of how to use Storyblocks. Again, you can download the videos, images, audio, um, and you pay the subscription. It's all free to use. It's so simple, guys. Please let me know how this worked for you, how to use Storyblocks. Hit me up in the comments. Please subscribe. I'm just a nerdy creator. I have 10 YouTube channels. I own my own agency. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, go ahead and do so. I will see you guys in the next one. How to use Storyblocks. Woo!